Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. This is Bella with Bella and the Phoenix. This is going to be a quick one because I have people coming over to fix some stuff in my house. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick reading for the collective for the Divine Masculines. And we're going to check on the Karmic. Haven't done one of those in a while. But as I was prepping for this reading, this card popped out. And then the bottom was Divine Masculine. <laughs> wow, look at this done. Completion, lesson learned, okay? So that's why I had to stop it there and start this reading because I feel the energy right now, um, especially with this Mercury retrograde. Like, they're starting to really see people for their true colors. And I feel like this karmic is trying to hold on still. And... Um, the masculine is moving. And then look at this. Bottom of the deck, we have the, the hangman. So he's letting it go. He's starting to see things differently. Um, wow, this is at the top of the deck. The empress. The ten of pentacles. And the king of cups. Okay. So I definitely get here that he feels this love for his divine feminine. And he can't ignore these feelings any longer, you know? And it's something that I feel like he tried to hide from the, the karmic. But women, we're more intuitive than men. And we know when somebody has feelings for somebody. It's not rocket science, okay? <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's find out what is this sold energy. Maybe they sold their house to move out of this karmic's house. They're going through a divorce. Take it how it resonates. And yeah, let's just see. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this karmic connection with the divine masculine? Why is sold here? Okay, we have the hermit. Your person could be a Virgo. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like this person's finally starting to see the light. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this this karmic kept this masculine in the darkness and now they're leveling up. And that's why that's why connections usually end because one person in the connection elevated to another level. And when that happens, you can't be with the same, you know, you can't stay in the same connection. Look at this. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands. Somebody finally decided they want to go after their happiness and it's not here. That's why they're moving away. You see how he's facing away from the house? <laughs> he's facing away towards a new beginning. Let's see. Let's get a clarify here for the hermit. Why is the hermit here, Spirit? Wow. The chariot and the king of pentacles. Okay. So I get here that he is focused on... His career, his st his stability, what makes him feel secure in his environment. And it's not this connection. That's what he's done with this lesson, right? Look at this. We have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like he made a choice. Like, I can't be with this person when I love somebody else. I want a new beginning. It just keeps coming out. And we have the moon. So he might have been scared to go towards his new beginning, but... Being scared is not enough of a motivation to stay stagnant. And that's why he's moving forward with the chariot. Chariot is cancer energy. You know, so I feel like your person is moving away from either cancer or right away. I, I kind of got like that illness too. <laughs> Spirit is saying yes. Okay, so this person is cutting away the illness, like the cancer out of their life that's not fulfilling them, that's keeping them in the dark. And they're cutting this person off because they want to be in a healthier situation. Yeah, look at this. Right when I'm saying that, two of cups at the bottom with the page of cups. They want to make an apology to their feminine is what I'm getting here. Yeah, they want to be happy. They want to step into their divine masculine energy and get out of this darkness and into the light. Wow. So let's get some oracle cards just to clarify. Why is the hermit here, Spare? For the divine masculine. 
insecurity. Someone is unsure of themselves. So this is something that's coming to light to the masculine. He's realizing that he settled for this karmic because he wasn't feeling good enough to be with the feminine, right? And this is something that he's becoming aware of. Like my insecurity led me to think that I don't deserve the empress when in reality I do. Yeah, this was a miscommunication, not seeing eye to eye, misunderstanding. So I'm just getting here that spirit is saying, the masculine is realizing I was being insecure and I was believing the lies from the devil, basically, <laughs> because he was in the darkness, you know, and now he's starting to see that I need to pursue things that are light and make me happy. And if, if this is not working out and there's miscommunication, then it just needs to change, you know, it just needs to go away because it's not in, in alignment, basically. So what is this masculine moving towards? Okay, they're moving towards fighting their fear of being alone. That's something that gives them anxiety. This could be triggering their abandonment wounds, okay? But I feel like they're starting to notice this is what I need to work on. I need to work on being more secure of myself, that I am good enough, right, to be with my feminine. Um, and I don't need to fear being alone because being alone with the hermit, that's exactly what you need in order to listen to your soul. What, what is your soul telling you to do like the next steps? And is, and that guidance is not going to come from the divine. If you try to look for it outside of you, right? And spirit is saying, while you're going on this quest to find yourself, be kind to yourself and let your inner child come out to help you connect to your higher self okay why is the chariot here with the king of pentacles ignorance <laughs> so i feel like spirit is saying here this person was not aware about how disconnected they were from their soul purpose and they were stuck with thinking about things in the physical ignorance like they were unaware that they were stuck in the 3d reality too much right and and this has to do with self-worth because i feel like that some of these masculines think that your worth comes from the things that you have in the physical world and that's very far from true i mean you don't need physical things those are just possessions like it's just those are things that can easily be replaced and it doesn't signify your worth. Like if you're rich, you're worth something. If you're not rich, you're not worth anything. Like that's not true. <laughs> so I feel like now they're starting to become aware of, of their truth. Like I am worth something. It doesn't matter if I have a nice car or not, right? That's not what's important. What is this Ace of Swords bear? Yeah, see, so now they're taking notice, they're observing, they're starting to notice the truth here about the situation that they were unaware about before, and now they're starting to dig deeper within their soul about their self-worth. That was at the bottom, okay? Love it. Okay, let's pull some more of these. Tell us more about this connection spirit with the karma. Okay. Unexpected surprise visit. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what's at the bottom. Okay, we have lockbox, closed in, trapped, frustrated. Just give me a second here. I feel like. I feel like the masculine still feels tied to this karmic. This could be they're still married and they feel like they can't get away from this person. You know, like they wish they could be spontaneous and like take off whenever they want to. But it's almost like they're asking for help, SOS, right? Because they want to they wanna take off and move on or end a lease or, or something of that sort, right? but they feel frustrated because there's something tying them down where they can't take off just yet. 
Give me one more spare. Gossip came out. So this has to do with also with people in their life. I feel like they're starting to notice that the opinions of others are weighing them down and that's could, that could keep them in that frustrated energy where they can't, they feel like they can't move forward because what are people going to say? But I'm getting here that something's going to come about, something's going to come out, like some gossip, some rumor is going to come about that's going to help this person finally free themselves. Okay. Let's get one more. Like the truth will set you free. You know what I mean? Like that's what I just heard from spirit. And I feel like this masculine is waiting for that, for that truth to finally come out. Something's going to come out through the grapevine that's going to set him free. That's going to give him that justice. Look at that. We got synchronicities, right? They keep getting signs. It's almost like spirit is telling them like be patient because you may you might feel frustrated, but right now you need to just sit still and keep working on your soul purpose, like your heart, your you know, your inner guidance. And you're getting confirmation that things are going to unravel. Okay. And then this is my karmic card. <laughs> Or official card when the when the title card comes out so yeah I feel like this person feels this karma is very toxic and they've been getting signs and especially now with the um, the mercury in retrograde I feel like they're starting to see this karmic's true colors you know yeah they're trying to get away from this karma chaser hot pursuit intervention rescue others involved so they may they might be asking people to help them like help me get out of this situation because this is so toxic like i can't i can't be with this person anymore because it's starting to affect my energy my aura okay spare what is this pop-up gossip energy we have soulmate and fireworks hmm there's, there could be two storylines here. I feel like I feel like on one hand, some of these masculines want the karmic to find out that he moved on with his divine feminine. And that's the, the rumor that's going to get around to finally set him free. <laughs> Where she'll finally see that, okay, I need to stop trying because obviously he didn't pick me. And then on the other hand, um, you know, how spirit is telling him to bide your time and wait and be patient because when things finally come to a head, you're, you're going to be able to, you know, go back towards your soulmate or whatever. As, as soon as this cycle ends with this karmic. So, I don't know. That could resonate for some of you. Maybe not, but... <laughs> But I feel like this person feels like they just really want to come towards their divine feminine, you know? Like, they they have so much passion towards you that this is why the petty jealousy card came out with gossip. Because the karmic's very jealous of y'all's connection. And I feel like he, I feel like your person's also seeing the signs that you are his person, you know what I mean? And he wants to make things official with you, but there's some toxic ties holding him here. It's almost like this is like the last leg of the race, like, you know, where you have to pick up pick up the speed and like finally go full throttle, you know what I mean? And and that could be what the heart wants to do, but in the physical reality, it's like it's a slow moving energy because there's contracts that have to be finalized. You know what I mean? Yeah. You might be wanting to, you know, rush and be careless and just go after what you want. But that that's not going to be a good energy to be in because it's not, it's not well thought out is what I'm getting. 
Yeah. So you might be on the fence. Someone is unable to make a decision, right? Exactly, because they feel tied. But they're inspired. You're amused to someone. They're inspired to want to manifest their desires, okay? And they do feel guilt, right, for wanting to move on from this karmic. Because at one point, I feel like this masculine thought that this person was their person. <laughs> and as time went on, they were realizing, you know what? Um, this is not my person. And now they're wanting to remove the negativity out of their life, which includes this karmic tie that has to go. And, and they're tired of keeping their feelings secret from you or, you know, trying to keep this facade yeah they want to take a risk with you okay because they want to be happy look at that they want to be happy okay so let's pull one card out of this deck like how does the masculine feel towards the karmic spirit wow snake he feels like she's toxic look at this Jealousy, we saw that with the gossip card, jealousy, toxic with the poison card here, silent treatment, seduction, sexuality. This karma uses her sexuality to try to reel him back in. And it had worked for a time, but now he's starting to see like the light about this. Like I can't keep being in this darkness with her because I want to do more for myself. And I can't keep staying in this darkness. Like it's killing my soul. You know what I mean? Wow. Bottom of the deck, we have Scorpio. Death. So how he feels towards her, he wants to end this toxic relationship. We saw the Dunn card underneath the Divine Masculine. Like he, he finally learned his lesson that he has to end this connection. Right? He can't just keep living a double life or he can just keep pretending that he's okay with living in the dark no because when he thinks about his feminine he thinks about the light and how happy he felt with her right and so now he can tell the difference now because when he's with this karma he just feels nothing but darkness <laughs> i mean that's that's what's coming out I'm just reading the cards here, guys. <laughs> okay, so how does he feel towards his feminine? Fireworks came out again. In this other deck, we saw the fireworks come out, right? In this deck. Where to go? Um, yeah, see? There is intense chemistry here, and it came out with soulmate, right? And that's confirming what I just said. This person wants to be with you, especially during the holiday season. They're going to come in hot. And you guys are going to celebrate together, being back together, celebrate a divorce <laughs> for some of you. Wow. Look at that. Because this person finally sees marriage different. You hear that? That was confirmation from spirit. Ding, ding. Like, you're, you're right on the money. Wedding bells. That's what I'm hearing, too. So, I feel like some of you might get an engagement. Okay, you might get into an engagement here. Your person finally sees the light. You're like that firework in the darkness when they think about you. And they're like, I want that again, you know? I gotta break away from this traditional programming. Look at this. Ten of Swords with the ship. This person's gonna move out of that old mentality and come towards you because they want to go on a vacation with you they want to go on a honeymoon you know go overseas go on an adventure right catch up and this karma sad to say but this is done this was a very short-lived energy it was not meant to last and and yeah i mean that's what's going on here. I feel like it's getting to the down to the wire where this masculine is realizing I got to change. If I want my life to be different, if I want to be happy, I have to do what's right for me. And it's not playing pretend with this person. This is fake. 
This is a really fake energy. And when he realizes that fake relationships are not fulfilling, <laughs> I can't talk today. Then he's going to cut it off. Look at this. I can't make this up. Wow. Right when I'm talking about this, death is about endings, right? And here we go. Confirmation again. Spirit always confirms. And this might be a shock to this person, but it's a reckoning. This was not meant to last. It was meant to be a lesson, okay? It was just meant to be a lesson, a lesson learned. Because now everything is happening as it should have. Wow, and I think again. I mean, <laughs> Spirit is saying, yes, you're right on the money. Every time it dings, that's like, that's confirmation, okay? Yeah, because... Ultimately, your person has this love for you that surpasses all other loves. I mean, it, it's a soul love, right? A spiritual love. And anybody that comes after your twin flame is just a lesson. And it's also why a lot of divine feminines don't end up with a karmic because they already learned their lesson with the masculine. And a lot of them will stay single because they don't feel like they need anybody. Okay. So what is this? Why is this here, Spirit? Okay, we have get more information. Research documents, examine the fine print, important details. I'm getting here that your person wants to make sure that when they come back to you, that they don't have anything else hanging over their head. You know, no contracts, nothing that they haven't tied up that loose end to get in the way of this next chapter wow right when i'm saying this next chapter thank you spirit confirmation <laughs> because they want this new beginning with you they want to make sure that when they come towards you it's taking this long because they have to tie up those loose ends in order to have this new chapter with you and you guys might have a bunch of babies here because we have three rabbits. You might be doing it like rabbits, you know. I mean, <laughs> wow. It's just, it's just like confirmation. Spirit is saying you guys have luck on your side because rabbits remind me of good luck also, right? You guys have luck on your side. Look at this green energy. Heart chakra is opening up. And your person's going to tell you all the details and they're going to show you proof like hey i got divorced here's my here's my certificate here's my <laughs> my certificate that i am free i'm a free man wow and look i just put the deck and we have realization and and financial government okay yeah so in the future your person is going to escape because they're ready to explode and they're going to show you proof, the receipts, okay? Can't make this up. Wow. So yeah, guys, that is your reading. I hope that was helpful. Comment below if this resonated. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.